So with this particular screen, it's one image and all the different parts are in here. So there's the outline of the image and then all these parts that are in here, we talked about how it's sort of like a coloring book effect where I'm just filling these in. So printing this way is considered spot color. I'm just putting colors in all these open spots. So the way that this particular screen is gonna be printed is first I'm gonna print the outline in white. So when I print the outline in white, that gives me the key. So all of these other voids then can fill that in. And after I print each one of these, then I'll print this again, but as black, and that'll tie the whole thing together. So I'm gonna start off with printing the white. Now this is a larger screen, so you know, I obviously need more table space. So the bigger the screen, you're gonna need more area to work with. Now I'm using the same um, square dowel rods. So that way, depending on how my screen is aligned, it has something to rest on. And when I'm rubbing it, um, just like the other ones, I'm also sort of feeling what the surface feels like to make sure there aren't any sort of depressions in the area that I'm going to be printing. So this area feels nice and flat, so this would be a good opportunity to, to, build, a, to build a good image. So I'm just gonna use white. And this white will be basically completely covered over. So again, this is really just to act as a key for my other spot, spot colors. Now I'm working on a white body, so this white isn't going to have a super high contrast, but it's gonna be enough for me to see where I need to put my first color. <clears throat> now as I put in each one of the other sections, then I'm just playing off of the previous one. So as I print more of these colors, it, it keys up a little easier. So this is really just sort of to get me started and, and give me a guide. And then just like with the smaller screens, I'm you know, choosing an angle that I can sort of pull it away so I'm not pulling straight up. And you know, kind of slow. Okay, now that I have the outline on here, I'm taking the first color, which is going to be the shirt, and I'm doing that color first. So I use the white outline as a way to basically register where that shirt's going to be. Now the way that I burn these images in here is that each one of these images are actually a little bit larger than the section it's supposed to fill. So I'm relying on these colors actually overlapping in a lot of different parts. Now when I'm completely done, I will take the outline and put it back on top as black and that will sort of bring this whole image together. So the first color that I'm gonna use is um, a yellow color for the shirt. Now again, with this light color on the white clay, it's not a real dark color. So it'd be a little bit faint at first. And I am relying on once this gets fired, you know, these colors get a little bit richer. Okay, then I'll slowly peel it off. Now I'm going to do the vessel now, but I'm going to actually use a rubber rib and squeegee it on here. Um, the white, you know, is really thick, really pasty like cake icing, and it's already been modified as well. Now since I am using white for the vessel and it's a small area, it's this lends itself to using it. I could use a, I do have a thinner white as well that I could use, but this works just as well. And again, when I do use a squeegee, I don't want to have it straight up and down, it is at an angle. And I'm not pressing really hard either, just enough pressure to keep it moving. If you press real hard, then the edges of your squeegee could make dents um, in your slab, so just enough pressure to move it. So this is something that I can drag across. I'll put just a touch more on, just to make sure I have a good fill. Let's see what we have. Mm. 
Okay. You know, the white comes up light. Hit a fire brighter though. Now that I have all the individual sections of color printed, now I'm going to take that outline that I originally printed white to act as my key. Now I'm taking that outline and put it over top of everything to kind of bring all this information together now. Now I purposely had some of these areas overlapping a little bit. So when the, the main thing I'm looking for with this screen is when I put this down and I'm looking at the open areas is that where some of these colors overlap a little bit, I'm wanting to try to get the black to cover over where those seams are. Now, the way that I did this is that they won't all be covered up. I do want a little bit of that shifting just because aesthetically that's the type of look that I enjoy. But this black outline is meant to uh, unify all these individual parts. All right, so we'll see what we have. <laughs> 